Hey there guys, this is Richard, your host, with another marvellous video. Welcome to an incredible trip across time and space, everyone. Today, we embark upon a thrilling journey through every Predacon that wandered the wild areas of the Transformers Beast Wars era. Join us as we unravel the mysteries and dig into the fascinating history of these fearsome characters. We'll reveal the hidden and obscure facts, epic fights, and character arcs that helped to make Beast Wars a memorable era in the Transformers series. So, buckle your seatbelts, hang on tight, and get ready for a crazy ride you'll never forget. Before we go into our explanation, we have a very small request. If you like our content, please support us by subscribing to our channel. This is a small click for you, but for us, it means a lot. Thank you. Let's begin. Quick Strike. Quick Strike is a true force to be reckoned with. He embodies the essence of a dangerous desperado. Unconventional in every sense, his origins are shrouded in mystery. It's speculated that he might have been a captured Predacon protoform slated for reprogramming by the Maximals. Quick Strike's demeanor reflects his impulsive and trigger happy nature, rarely allowing room for rational thought. With a distinct southern accent, he assumes the persona of a fearless cowboy. Violence seems to be his default mode of interaction, overshadowing any other aspects of his personality. In his alt mode, Quick Strike combines the lethal traits of a scorpion and cobra, forming a fearsome hybrid beast. His aggressive tendencies make him easily swayed and manipulated, a quality that Megatron, the Predacon leader, cunningly exploits to his advantage. However, Megatron soon realizes that others are also capable of bending Quick Strike to their will, prompting him to employ a more simple method, instilling a deep-seated fear of death. Though Quick Strike may display moments of reckless bravery, there exists a point beyond which even he will not venture. With his complex nature and tendency for violence, Quick Strike stands as a captivating character, enthralling both allies and adversaries alike. Megatron A menacing figure rises to command the Predacons with unwavering determination. Meet Megatron, a force driven by a singular ambition, the restoration of glory and power to his Predacon brethren, crowning himself as their unyielding leader. His ultimate objective? The conquest of Cybertron, a planet where he was once marked as a criminal. In his beast mode, Megatron assumes the awe-inspiring form of a fearsome Tyrannosaurus Rex, radiating primal might and untamed ferocity. Yet, his journey takes an intriguing turn when he undergoes a transformation into a transmetal, his beast mode evolving into that of a majestic dragon. This metamorphosis exemplifies his relentless pursuit of strength and dominance. What sets Megatron apart from the multitude who share similar aspirations is his audacity. He unabashedly adopts a name associated with a bot who is infamous for being a supervillain in his universe, showcasing a remarkable level of self-assuredness. Megatron is a being willing to stake everything, even himself, to achieve his goals. He harbors no qualms about resorting to extreme measures, even if it means the annihilation of all life. Throughout his journey, there are instances where victory would have been within his grasp, if not for the tenacity of Optimus Primal, the courageous leader of the Maximals. The clash between these two titans becomes a recurring theme, with Optimus Primal acting as the unwavering obstacle to Megatron's ambitions. Scorponok terrorize! Scorponok. This Predacon stands out with a distinctive personality that encompasses both simplicity and unwavering loyalty. Meet Scorponok, a creature whose demeanor is somewhat two-dimensional. He's occasionally dim-witted, but has an unyielding devotion to Megatron, the leader of the Predacons. In his beast mode, Scorponok embodies the form of a deadly scorpion, exuding an air of danger and stealth. Following Dinobot's defection to the Maximals, Scorponok rises to the position of second-in-command aboard the mighty vessel known as the Dark Side, becoming a trusted ally to Megatron. Surprisingly, his loyalty to the Predacon leader remains steadfast amidst the ever-changing dynamics within the crew. Despite his dedication, Scorponok grapples with feelings of insecurity regarding his newfound title. Constantly striving to assert himself among his fellow Predacons, he faces a challenge in earning their recognition due to their awareness of his limitations. Often dismissed or disregarded, Scorponok's attempts to make his presence known highlight his inner struggle to prove his worth. Ever eager to serve Megatron to the best of his abilities, Scorponok, unfortunately, finds himself limited in what he can contribute. In a bid to aid his leader, he creates a cyber bee virus intended to instill cowardice within Optimus Primal, the fearless leader of the Maximals. However, the plan takes an unexpected turn, resulting in Primal becoming consumed by uncontrollable rage, showcasing the unintended consequences of Scorponok's efforts and ultimately killing him.
Inferno. This odd Predacon is driven by an unwavering belief in his insectoid nature. Meet Inferno, a being who wholeheartedly identifies as an ant with an unyielding devotion to his perceived queen, Megatron. His beast mode takes the form of a fiery and formidable fire ant, adding to the strangeness of his persona. Unlike many of his Predacon counterparts, Inferno possesses no personal aspirations or grand designs for the future. Every action he undertakes is solely dedicated to the well-being of the colony and the honor of his queen. Such unwavering loyalty has led him to be swiftly promoted to the position of Predacon sub-commander following the demise of Scorpino. Inferno's fervent dedication to Megatron is exemplified by his willingness to undertake any task assigned to him, regardless of its hazardous nature. Unconcerned with his own personal safety, he fearlessly embraces the use of heavy firepower and harnesses his incredible strength to follow through with any commands. He's a bit of a pyromaniac, finding exhilaration in the destructive act of burning things. For Inferno, this serves as a manifestation of his devotion to the glory of the colony and the fulfillment of Megatron's orders. Inferno shines as an embodiment of unwavering loyalty with his singular focus on the success of his queen and his colony. Waspinator. Unfortunately for this poor bot, he's forever entwined with misfortune. Meet Waspinator, a being destined to bear the brunt of the universe's chaos. His beast mode, that of a wasp, mirrors his enduring resilience. Despite the countless calamities that befall him, Waspinator's existence is marked by a series of unfortunate events, often finding himself at the very center of explosions or on the receiving end of destruction. Subjected to a multitude of endless forms of devastation, he miraculously survives time and time again. It seems fate has conspired to make him the universe's constant scale. Scapegoat. To add to his tumultuous journey, Waspinator once fell victim to the possession of the Decepticon, Starscream's spark, amplifying his chaotic circumstances. Regressibly, intelligence is not his most vital attribute, with Waspinator often regarded as lacking in cognitive prowess. Classified as expendable, he endures a constant lack of respect, a circumstance that weighs heavily upon him. Furthermore, his strange speech patterns, referring to himself in the third person and bestowing nicknames upon others, further contribute to the challenges he faces in garnering acceptance. When the series ultimately concluded, Waspinator, unhappy with the ongoing trials of the Beast Wars, made a decision. He chose to abandon the chaotic conflict and instead sought respect and reverence from the early humans. I don't think so. Pterosaur. Pterosaur emerges as a figure driven by an insatiable hunger for power, crafty and ever plotting. He constantly seeks to elevate his position within the ranks of the Predacons, taking the form of a majestic Pteranodon in his beast mode. Pterosaur revels in the unique advantage of flight, a trait shared with his partner, Waspinator, cementing their alliance as tough aerial forces within the Predacon ranks. Pterosaur's cunning mind is always at work, ceaselessly strategizing to seize the opportunity to overthrow Megatron, the dominant leader of the Predacons. However, despite his calculated moves, the grand schemes of the more prominent players in the Beast Wars often outmaneuver him, leaving Pterosaur perpetually on the losing end of the battle for supremacy. Yet, as the war progresses, a subtle transformation takes hold within him. He matures into a more dependable subordinate, displaying a newfound loyalty to Megatron and actively engaging in attempts to destroy Optimus Primal, the brave leader of the Maximals. Ultimately, the tides of fate turn against Pterosaur. In an unfortunate turn of events, he finds himself descending into the depths of molten lava, accompanied by the fallen Scorpioner. In that final moment, his ambitions and treachery are extinguished, leaving behind a legacy of unfulfilled aspirations and a a testament to the ruthlessness of the Beast Wars. The Matrix Hero. Rampage. Born from the dark depths of ill-fated scientific experimentation, Rampage emerges as a sinister entity embodying the horrifying consequences of twisted research. A figure shrouded in perpetual darkness, he's a remorseless predator driven by insatiable bloodlust and an immortal spark that ensures his presence lingers indefinitely in a world plagued by his brand of misery. Rampage's personality draws inspiration from the captivating yet chilling portrayal of the fictional genius psychiatrist and cannibalistic serial killer Dr. Hannibal Lecter. His beast mode takes the form of a commanding King Crab, further enhancing his intimidating presence. Rampage possesses an uncanny ability to sense and feed upon the emotions of others, drawing strength from the horror and fear he inflicts upon his victims. As an unwilling member of the Predacons, Rampage harbors nothing but contempt for his fellow comrades. Disinterested and disengaged during missions, he frequently seeks opportunities to satisfy his own sadistic desires, venturing off on his personal endeavors to alleviate his boredom through cruel and abominable means. Unbound by empathy or remorse, he enjoys spreading unimaginable torment to fulfill his insatiable thirst for excitement. However, despite his seemingly unending lifespan, a shard of raw energon shoved by depth charge brought Rampage's malevolent reign to an abrupt end. The very essence that grants the bot with life becomes his ultimate undoing, bringing a conclusion to his reign of terror.
Dinobot 2. Once a loyal lieutenant, Dinobot's defection to the Maximals and subsequent sacrifice to thwart Megatron's grand scheme shook the foundations of their dynamic. However, Megatron's relentless ambition knew no bounds, leading him to construct a new Dinobot, an abomination with no honor yet brimming with power. This reimagined Dinobot was fashioned through a strange amalgamation of elements. A blank protoform served as the foundation, while cells cloned from the original Dinobot were integrated into its structure. A fragment of Rampage's spark and energy derived from a transmetal driver were also infused to enhance its capabilities. Marketed as a regeneration of the original Dinobot, the bio on the packaging was inadvertently misleading, as it hinted at a potential continuity where Dinobot 2 was an evolved form of its predecessor. However, in reality, it was just an incorrect choice of words, indicating a clone rather than an upgraded version. Taking the form of a transmetal velociraptor in its beast mode, this new Dinobot was strong, savage, and unwaveringly loyal to Megatron. Engineered as a living weapon, it was intended to be unleashed upon the Maximals, ensuring Megatron had the final say in shaping the Raptor's legacy. But destiny seldom listens to anyone's plans. Though Dinobot's spark may be intertwined with Rampage's, speculation still remains regarding the presence of the original Dinobot within. Black Arachnia Black Arachnia emerges as a sinister presence, embodying a dangerous combination of intelligence, wit, and seduction. With her distinctive eight legs, she wields her arachnid form as both a weapon and a tool of manipulation. Among the rebellious Predacons that defy Megatron's authority, Black Arachnia stands out as one of the few capable of outwitting him on occasion. Her beast mode takes the shape of a Black Widow Spider, presenting an air of deadly elegance. Black Arachnia treasures her independence and freedom above all else, refusing to be subjugated or reduced to a mere pawn. She'd willingly face death before succumbing to a life of servitude. Yet, beneath her confident facade lies a vulnerability rooted in her complex emotions toward the Maximal named Silverbolt. Unexpectedly, Black Arachnia finds her heart entwined with Silverbolts. Her journey takes a transformative turn as she chooses to forsake her Predacon origins and align herself with the Maximals as a transmetal too. In doing so, Black Arachnia embarks on a path toward self-discovery and redemption, propelled by the power of her love and the pursuit of a newfound purpose. It's worth noting that Black Arachnia's significance extends beyond her compelling character traits, as she was the first female Transformers toy to be produced. Give my regards to the Inferno! Tarantulas Tarantulas emerges as a calculating and eccentric scientist. He's the perfect example of the typical mad scientist, driven by a twisted desire for experimentation on living beings. He finds joy in his evil pursuits, relishing the prospect of devouring the remnants of his failed creations as an unhinged midday meal. Tarantulas takes the form of nerve-wracking tarantula in his beast mode, harnessing the primal instincts and predatory prowess of his arachnid species. As the chief scientist of the Predacon team, he spearheads the development of the Predacon shell programs, leveraging his expertise to shape the battle-ready forms of his comrades. His exceptional skills as a ninja warrior also contribute to his lethal efficiency in combat. While serving as an agent of the Tripredicus Council, Tarantulus finds himself alienated from his fellow Predacons due to his disturbing fixations and detached demeanor. His peers recoil from his focus on his perverted interests and emotional detachment, which sets him apart even within the ranks of the ruthless Predacons. Unbeknownst to many, Tarantulus carries a dark lineage as a descendant of Unicron, the embodiment of chaos and destruction. Ultimately, Tarantulus meets his demise in a catastrophic confrontation. When he seeks to seize control of Tigerhawk, a powerful Maximal manipulated by the powerful Vok, Tarantulus becomes vaporized in the fiery conclusion of his insatiable thirst for power. Ravage Ravage stands as a paragon of unwavering loyalty to his leader. Surviving the crucible of the Great War, he emerged as one of the few Decepticons to be granted amnesty and undergo a transformative rebirth as a fearsome Predacon. Curiously, his alternate forms manifest as both a cassette and a majestic Black Panther, reflecting the duality of his shadowy existence. Having aligned himself with the secretive Tripredicus Council, Ravage assumed the mantle of a covert operative, blending seamlessly into the shadows as one of Soundwave's most dependable spies. Unyielding in his devotion to the Decepticon, on course. He perceives Megatron as the living embodiment of their shared purpose. To better serve his leader and the ideals of the Decepticons, Ravage has honed himself into an unparalleled war machine, embodying efficiency and lethal precision. Operating as a master of stealth, Ravage shrouds himself in darkness, patiently awaiting the opportune moment to strike with perfect accuracy. His name has become synonymous with the art of secretive infiltration, his every move veiled in mystery and calculated secrecy. However, his Achilles heel lies in the brilliance of bright light, capable of temporarily blinding his senses and rendering him vulnerable. Starscream Hellscream Starscream, accompanied by Thundercracker and Skywarp, forms a trinity of Predacon Seekers. Transformed into the majestic shape of a pterodactyl, Starscream has an air of confidence 
cleverness and a touch of the feminine. But his true strength lies not in physical might, but in his mastery of flattery and manipulation. Starscream possesses an uncanny ability to charm and win the favor of those in positions of power. Yet, unbeknownst to them, his affections and flatteries are merely a smokescreen, a calculated ruse to lower their defenses and pave the way for his ultimate rise to power. In his interactions, Starscream reveals himself as a snobbish and narcissistic individual, intolerant of fools and those he deems as lacking refined taste. He prefers to remain in the shadows, allowing his partner to take the forefront to preserve the immaculate condition of his exterior and avoid any potential damage. However, when circumstances leave him with no alternative, Starscream can shed his facade and unite with his partner BB, forming a formidable entity known as Formation Scream. This dangerous pair proved to be a dangerous adversary for even the most powerful of Maximals. Tripredicus. Emerging from the depths of secrecy, a formidable entity known as Tripredicus makes its presence known. This powerful battle master veils himself in shadows, lurking underground until the cover of night falls upon the maximal fortresses it targets. With unyielding determination, Tripredicus unleashes relentless assaults, leaving a wake of devastation in its path. Tripredicus is a massive combination of many powerful bots. This feat is achieved by harnessing stolen technology from the renowned Magna Boss of the Maximal Nation. Through this fusion, Tripredicus transcends the boundaries of individuality, becoming an unstoppable force of destruction. Its composite members contribute their arsenal, forming a formidable mega-missile launcher that slashes through the opposition, granting Tripredicus unrivaled power on the battlefield. At the core of this terrorizing entity lies the Tripredicus Council, composed of C-Clamp, Ramhorn, and Cicaticon. These three figures, known as the Predicon Elders, embody wisdom, experience, and strategic prowess. Individually, they possess remarkable capabilities, but when united as Tripredicus, their might is magnified, allowing them to reshape the course of battle. Ramhorn. General Ramhorn is an esteemed member of the illustrious Tri-Council, a gathering of extraordinary individuals united by a shared purpose. Exuding an aura of raw power, Ramhorn embodies the essence of strength and dominance. His beast mode takes the form of a majestic rhinoceros beetle, symbolizing his indomitable nature. Ramhorn exhibits a direct and forceful approach in his relentless pursuit of power. Brute force and coercion are his preferred tools to seize control and assert his authority. While not lacking in intelligence, his unwavering determination and stubbornness occasionally blind him to the subtleties of strategy, overshadowing the importance of wisdom. Nevertheless, his fusion with fellow council members Cicaticon and Seaclam tempers some of these impulsive tendencies, offering a measure of balance and collective wisdom. Ramhorn's unwavering stubbornness is a defining trait that propels him to great heights within the Tri-Council. As a formidable force on his own, he also plays a crucial role in the creation of the mighty Tripredicus, alongside his comrades. Furthermore, when joined by the likes of Ravage and Tarantulus, their fusion as Predicus amplifies their strength. C-Clamp General C-Clamp is a revered figure within the esteemed Tri-Council, renowned for his chilling presence and unparalleled strength. He embodies power and resilience in his majestic beast form of a magnificent lobster. C-Clamp derives immense satisfaction from witnessing the struggles of those unfortunate enough to fall within his grasp. With his mighty pincers, he exerts a vice-like grip that leaves victims gasping for breath, symbolizing his indomitable control over his domain. Yet, his influence extends beyond mere physical dominance. C-Clamp's calculated schemes and intricate plans have garnered him a reputation for orchestrating far-reaching manipulations, entangling others within his web of control. Quiet and intimidating, C-Clamp possesses an air of enigmatic mystery. He understands the power of gestures and subtle messages, employing them with precision and force to convey his intentions. Although it evokes thoughts of a clamp used in woodworking or metalwork, his name carries a more profound significance, symbolizing his ability to firmly hold and control the destiny of those who dare to challenge him. Cicadacon, a figure of ancient wisdom and cunning. General Cicadacon stands as a mysterious presence among the ranks of the Predacon elders. With a wealth of knowledge spanning generations, he possesses an immense understanding of Cybertronian history, particularly in matters of warfare and strategy, reaching back even to the distant era preceding the Great War. His form takes that of a majestic Cicada, exuding an aura of mystery and authority. While rumors persist about Cicadacon's possible affiliation with the Decepticons in the past, the truth remains shrouded in secrecy. These speculations serve as a powerful tool for the Elder to cultivate an atmosphere of fear and reverence among his followers. The tales of his ancient origins instill a sense of awe, strengthening his influence over those who seek his guidance. Despite his tactical brilliance, Cicadacon's long-term strategies aimed at countering the Maximals have garnered mixed reception within the Predacon ranks. Some of the more impulsive members of the faction question the viability and patience required by his plans. Amidst the sometimes turbulent dynamics of the Tri-Council, Cicadacon assumes the role of a cooler-headed diplomat, often and acting as a voice of reason to mitigate conflicts between C-Clamp and Ramhorn. His advice and calming influence play a crucial role in maintaining harmony and unity within the Council, ensuring their collective strength is not wasted in internal disputes.
Galvatron, Dragon, Drill Tank. Galvatron, the Emperor of Chaos, reigns as a sinister force, instilling fear in the hearts of the Maximals who dare to face him. He's an elder brother to Megastorm, sharing a bond that runs deep, although Megatron constantly tries to overthrow him. Through a powerful contraption, Galvatron possesses the ability to assume two terrorizing forms, that of a majestic dragon and a daunting drill tank. His insatiable ambition knows no bounds and is matched only by the terror it evokes. Galvatron, the self-proclaimed harbinger of annihilation, holds no qualms about obliterating entire planets or siphoning the life force of ancient deities for his evil purposes. The concept of morality is nothing but a fleeting notion to him, discarded in his ruthless pursuit of power and dominance. Galvatron's presence on the battlefield is an absolute menace, an adversary who appears invincible and impossible to destroy. While opposing forces have attempted to vanquish him, they've come to realize that Galvatron is not so easily defeated. He may be temporarily thwarted or contained, but his resilience and tenacity persist like a looming shadow waiting for the perfect moment to strike again. Megastorm, Gigastorm. Megastorm, a formidable figure known as the Duke of Devastation, stands as the younger brother to Galvatron. In the presence of his loyal troops, Megastorm exudes an air of unyielding toughness, projecting an image of strength. However, when faced with the commanding presence of his elder sibling, he quickly assumes a more subdued demeanor, acknowledging Galvatron's authority. With the ability to transform into a massive tank, Megastorm showcases his prowess on the battlefield. Yet, destiny weaves a different path for him when he undergoes a transformative upgrade bestowed upon him by Anglemois. The result is Gigastorm, a colossal mechanical marvel in the form of a Hojoni. This enhancement gives him additional capabilities, including a base mode and a battle station mode, accompanied by the assistance of a Giga Scouter drone. While the Mask of Loyalty hides his true aspirations, Megastorm harbors a hidden desire to surpass the might of his elder brother. Unlike Galvatron, his ambitions are more modest and restrained, viewing his siblings' grandiose schemes as not only dangerous, but also terrifying. As Galvatron embarks on a daring quest for the coveted Anglemois energy, the stark contrast in their objectives becomes increasingly apparent. Megastorm finds himself contemplating ways to seize command and guide their pursuits back to a path of reason and sanity. BB Max B. BB, daunting powerhouse, possesses immense strength but lacks intellectual capacity and verbal skills. His towering nature and brutish demeanor are paired with a limited mental ability, relying on his partner, the cunning Predacon Air Commander Starscream, to provide guidance and strategic thinking. BB's unwavering loyalty to Starscream drives him to unquestioningly support his partner's every power move. While intelligence may not be his strong suit, BB compensates with his impressive arsenal of firepower. Equipped to the brim with an abundance of missiles, he unleashes a devastating assault upon his enemies, obliterating them with explosive force. Whether in his jet or tank modes, BB leaves a trail of destruction in his wake. As if his raw might wasn't destructive enough, BB possesses the ability to merge with Starscream, amplifying their combined strength and creating a fearsome entity known as the Fusion Scream. This union enhances BB's already exceptional capabilities, further solidifying his status as a force to be reckoned with. At a certain juncture, BB undergoes a transformative upgrade courtesy of the powerful Anglemois energy, emerging as Max B. This evolution augments his already formidable physical attributes, imbuing him with high and power and resilience. Dirge, Dirge Gun. Dirge shares an inseparable bond with his closest confidant and companion, Thrust. Together, they're an unconventional pairing, showcasing a harmonious blend of wit and humor. Dirge specifically assumes the role of the more stoic half, delivering cutting remarks with swift precision. Their dynamic unfolds as an unspoken comedic dance, delighting audiences. As esteemed members of the Combatron Squadron, Dirge and Thrust soar through the skies aboard the Galverberg II, an imposing vessel commanded by Galvatron's Predacons. Within the elite group of Seekers, they both hold the esteemed rank of fifth Predacon Seeker alongside their comrade Ramjet. When it comes to their alt modes, Dirge gracefully transforms into a wasp, allowing him to navigate the world with agile finesse. Beyond his role as a master of comedy, Dirge possesses an unexpected passion for culinary craftsmanship. Renowned for his expertise in enhancing the potency and flavor of high-energy fuels, he elevates ordinary substances to extraordinary heights. In a transformative twist, Dirge's path intertwines with the enigmatic forces of Anglemois energy. Exposed to its otherworldly power by the powerful Gigastorm, the Predacon undergoes a grand metamorphosis, emerging as the formidable cyber beast dirge gun. Thrust, Thrustor. Thrust, a captivating bot within the ranks of the Combatrons, commands attention as the embodiment of comedic brilliance. Teaming up with his closest comrade, Dirge, they forge an entertaining comedy duo that leaves audiences in stitches. Thrust assumes the role of the mischievous jester, rarely displaying a serious demeanor if he can avoid it. His alt mode takes the form of a nimble yet deadly wasp, allowing him to move around with unrivaled agility. Behind his jovial mask lies a keen intellect, though, regrettably, his partnership with Dirge often leads to a series of mis 
misadventures and mission mishaps. As the fourth member of the esteemed Predacon Seekers, alongside Dirge and Ramjet, Thrust plays a pivotal role within their elite squadron. Under the command of Galvatron, he embarked on a mission to Gaia, a planet teeming with the enigmatic and potent Anglemoy's energy, which held the vast potential for power and conquest. Thrust harbors a peculiar disdain for sea breezes, as their corrosive nature poses a threat to his structural integrity, resulting in the dreaded process of rusting. A pivotal transformation occurs in him when Thrust pledges unwavering loyalty to Gigastorm, triggering a remarkable rebirth as the cyborg beast Thruster. Auto Stinger Auto Stinger, the esteemed commander of the mechanized auto rollers, epitomizes the spirit of a seasoned and pragmatic mercenary. With a badass alt mode as a robust dump truck, he seamlessly blends efficiency with raw power. Rather than driven by a bloodthirsty nature, Auto Stinger's motivations lie firmly in seizing lucrative opportunities that come his way. In a fascinating twist of fate, Auto Stinger now finds himself caught in the web of honor-bound servitude, an ironic reversal of the very manipulation he once employed against his adversaries. Galvatron extended his mercy and spared him from certain execution. As a result, Auto Stinger finds himself bound by an indebted servitude, obligated to serve as a construction officer until his massive debt is fully repaid. Auto Stinger's current predicament demands the utmost professionalism and adherence to duty, and he does so with great honor. Undeterred by his circumstances, Auto Stinger approaches his newfound role with unwavering commitment and precision. His actions exemplify the very essence of a dedicated professional, navigating his current circumstances with steadfast focus and determination. Auto Stinger and his comrades maintain a long-standing animosity toward their insectoid counterparts. Auto Crusher Auto Crusher stands as a testament to the unpredictable nature of wisdom's path, defying the assumption that age always brings insight. As the eldest member among the ranks of the Auto Rollers, Auto Crusher has witnessed countless battles and left a trail of crushed adversaries in his wake. Yet, his preferred approach remains unyielding in its simplicity sheer brute force. Like many seasoned veterans, Auto Crusher finds great joy in regaling others with tales from the bygone era, reminiscing about battles fought alongside long-forgotten comrades. He often delves into nostalgic accounts, recounting how things were accomplished in his time. Unwavering in his conviction, Auto Crusher's strategy revolves around plowing through his enemies with relentless determination. His extensive lifespan, surpassing that of most Predacons, lends some credibility to his game plan. In his eyes, obedience and unwavering dedication serve as the keys to ushering in a triumphant return of the Decepticon era. A rivalry steeped in raw power and unyielding might defines Auto Crusher's relationship with Power Hug, an Insectron who thinks of himself as an immovable force. The two tiring bruisers perpetually compete for dominance each seeking to outmatch the other in displays of sheer strength. Auto Crusher, with the advantage of age and experience as a bulldozing juggernaut, tends to maintain the upper hand in these confrontations. Auto Jetta Auto Jetta, the youthful force within the ranks of the Auto Rollers, radiates an aura of brashness and undisciplined energy. As a shape-shifting marvel, Auto Jetta seamlessly transforms into a swift and agile jet fighter. While he may heed orders out of respect for Auto Stinger, his actual inclination lies in being the first to pull the trigger without a second thought. Unbothered by restraint, Auto Jetta's impulsive nature often leads him astray, exemplified by his limited attention span. Assigned primarily to bodyguard duties, a task that leaves him utterly bored, he frequently abandons his charges in favor of seeking out trouble wherever it may dwell. The concept of escort missions eludes him entirely, resulting in his classification as a dropout in that domain. However, his role provides him with ample opportunities to engage in combat, an endeavor that he embraces with great joy and unwavering enthusiasm. Auto Jetta nurtures rivalries with the Insectron's Tonbot and Drill Nuts. However, the origins of his simmering animosity remain questionable at best. His genuine hatred for these insects stems from the fact that dragonflies often clog his jet intakes, and Tonbot has the ability to turn into a dragonfly, so huh, there you go. Does sound like a valid reason. Auto Launcher Auto Launcher is in an eternal state of excitement, perpetually brimming with energy. If there's one thing that stokes the fires of his enthusiasm, it's his unyielding ambition to engage in a one-on-one -on -one showdown with his rival from the Insectron faction, Mantis. Both Auto Launcher and Mantis have honed their skills in the ancient art of Discmaster, and Auto Launcher is determined to establish himself as the unrivaled champion. In his alt mode as an armored personnel carrier, Auto Launcher's eagerness knows no bounds. He craves the exhilaration of being the first to confront the enemy, often surging ahead of his fellow Auto Rollers in his relentless pursuit of glory and recognition. 
This impulsive nature drives him to charge headlong into battle at the slightest provocation, frustrating his teammates. However, amidst the frustration lies a silver lining. Auto launcher's eagerness to rush into action inadvertently serves as a remarkable diversionary tactic. As he becomes a captivating spectacle on the battlefield, drawing the attention of their adversaries, the other auto rollers can tactfully maneuver into position, launching their own attacks with stealth and expertise. God Neptune. The Seacons, notorious spacefarers and marauders, encounter fierce opposition in their quest for plunder and looting. Determined to overcome any resistance that stands in their way, the Seacons possess an exceptional trump card, the ability to merge into the formidable entity known as God Neptune. This fusion represents their ultimate power and serves as their last resort when all other options fail. Among the Seacons, Half Shell assumes the role of the leader, and his commanding presence dominates the collective personality of God Neptune. While each Seacon retains a degree of autonomy over the limbs they contribute to the fusion, certain aspects of their individual traits occasionally shine through. This unique arrangement grants God Neptune a heightened level of strength, surpassing that of most combiners. However, this advantage comes at a cost. The unpredictability of flighty members like Scylla leaves God Neptune pretty much helpless at times. She has a tendency to abandon her assigned position within the combination, driven by her own personal interests and desires. This act of disengagement leaves God Neptune handicapped, hopping on a single leg and vulnerable to the mercy of their adversaries. Despite the occasional setback caused by one of the members' wayward nature, God Neptune remains a tough competition on the battlefield. Half Shell Half Shell leads the band of inquisitive space pirates known as the Seacons on their thrilling quest for treasure and riches. Taking the form of a mechanical sea turtle, Half Shell assumes the crucial role of forming the sturdy torso of their ultimate fusion, God Neptune. This fusion amplifies his strengths and abilities, allowing him to overcome even the most tough challenges that stand in his way. His primary motivation in life revolves around one thing, money. A shrewd and thoughtful individual, Half Shell sees the world through the lens of profitability and cost analysis. He constantly evaluates every opportunity and venture based on its potential, monetary gains or losses. While this might lead one to assume that he would prioritize financial gain above all else, nothing could be further from the truth. Half Shell cherishes the bonds of friendship and loyalty, and he holds these values in the highest regard. He's incredibly generous and selfless towards his friends, always willing to go to great lengths to support and protect them. With Half Shell as a friend, one can rely on his unwavering strength and determination to come to their aid in times of need. His loyalty extends primarily to his beloved Seacon crew, his closest companions, and his partners in his daring escapades. Scylla Scylla embodies the untamed spirit of the sea, taking the form of a majestic robotic giant squid with extraordinary appendages. As a member of the Seacon Space Pirate crew, she contributes her stellar abilities as one of the limbs that form God Neptune, their ultimate combiner form. Among the Seacons, Scylla stands as the second strongest, wielding her powerful beast mode to devastating effect in battle. With remarkable agility and speed in underwater environments, she unleashes her most capable attack known as the Kiss of Death upon her adversaries. Given a choice, Scylla would gladly spend her days basking in the beauty of the ocean, gazing upon the tides from the tranquil prow of her photon sailor. However, her aspirations are frequently thwarted by her jovial but bothersome space pirate Seacon comrades. Fiery and assertive, Scylla possesses a rebellious nature that refuses to bow down to anyone. She's a true pirate, unyielding and unapologetic, never hesitating to confront those who challenge her. Scuba is the only exception to her fierce demeanor, the object of her unending affection. Scylla remains resolute in the pursuit of his love, unwavering in her determination to win his heart. Adding to the tumultuous love triangle, Bighorn, a Maximal smitten with Scylla, finds himself entangled in a rivalry against his fellow Maximal for her affections. However, Scylla views his infatuation with indifference. Colagon Colagon, the wise elder of the Seacon crew, is a source of captivating stories and wise advice for the younger members of the team. His vast age, estimated to be between 80 and 110,000 years old, lends him a wealth of knowledge and experience. Taking the form of a robotic Colacanth with sturdy legs, he assumes his place as one of the limbs that compose the mighty god Neptune. Between long stretches of slumber, Colagon fulfills his role as the trusted advisor to the space pirates. His companions look up to him, considering him an unparalleled source of wisdom. Although they hold his words in high regard, only a few question the accuracy of his recollections directly. 
It seems that over time, a significant portion of his memories have become destroyed or distorted, whether due to the natural decline of his memory circuits or receiving incorrect information ages ago. Despite the occasional deviations from the truth, the Seacons treat Colagon with the utmost respect, honoring his advanced years and the wealth of knowledge he possesses. Colagon's role as the wise elder and advisor brings a sense of reverence and tradition to the space pirate crew. While the accuracy of his stories may be questionable, the wisdom and guidance he imparts holds value to the Seacons beyond their factual accuracy. Sea Phantom Sea Phantom, a fierce member of the enigmatic Seacon crew, stands out as the embodiment of raw power and untamed spirit. Taking the form of a robotic tiger shark with agile legs, he assumes his role as one of the limbs that compose the mighty god Neptune. Perched high in the crow's nest of their ship, Sea Phantom serves as the vigilant lookout and skilled spotter for the daring pirates. His sharp senses and keen eyesight allow him to anticipate threats and provide strategic guidance to his fellow crewmates. His brute strength is matched only by his agility underwater, where he becomes as swift as a torpedo. Utilizing his unique ability called Telephantom, he can instantaneously teleport short distances, catching his adversaries off guard and gaining the upper hand in battle. It's worth noting that Sea Phantom's Telephantom teleportation ability, mentioned solely in profiles and publications, didn't feature prominently in any recorded accounts of the Seacon's adventures. Sea Phantom's arsenal also includes his menacing Phantom Jaws, capable of crushing both food and adversaries with unyielding force. Additionally, his Phantom Fin slices through obstacles and opponents alike, leaving a trail of precision and devastation in his wake. Manda, <laughs> Terramanda. Terramanda, the most youthful member of the enigmatic Seacon Space Pirates, brings with him a unique blend of rebellion and untapped potential. As the youngest among the crew, he often finds himself burdened with mundane and undesirable tasks that his seasoned comrades avoid like the plague. Fueled by a mixture of resentment and apathy, Terramanda has developed a reputation for laziness and a lack of motivation. This, in turn, has strained his relationships with the rest of the crew, who view his behavior with disdain. Taking the form of a robotic manta ray with agile legs, Terramander assumes his role as one of the limbs that merged to form the mighty god Neptune. Mostly due to his youth, he possesses an inherent disrespect for authority and a penchant for questioning the wisdom of his elders. Getting Terramander to engage in action can prove challenging, as he often needs to be in the right mood or inspired by the prospect of battle. However, when the time for combat finally arrives, Terramander unleashes his dormant enthusiasm enthusiasm with great intensity. His Manta Ray mode harbors a unique ability to generate powerful vibration waves that can shatter even the sturdiest of targets. This exceptional quality secures his place among the ranks of the Seacons, despite the frustrations caused by his unwillingness to shoulder his fair share of responsibilities. Majin Zarak Emerging from the most mysterious corner of history, this peculiar and colossal entity known as Majin Zarak remains shrouded in impenetrable shadows. Its origins, purpose, and the circumstances surrounding its creation remain veiled in obscurity, forever eluding our understanding. As the towering monster takes form, it metamorphoses into a massive battle carrier, a testament to its unrivaled size and capacity to transport multiple entities within the Transformers universe. Majin Zarek stands as one of the most awe-inspiring and commanding figures in the modern era of Transformers, evoking fear and trepidation in its adversaries while serving as a prized asset to its Predacon masters. Its sheer magnitude and unparalleled power instill a sense of dread upon the battlefield, where it materializes with unstoppable force, traversing both land and sea as an amphibious aircraft carrier. Brimming with immense might, Majin Zarek possesses an arsenal of energy-based weapons and armaments capable of obliterating entire battlefields within seconds. Its colossal form exhibits the ability to directly absorb various forms of energy, rendering it a dangerous force in the Transformers universe. However, amid its overwhelming might, a singular vulnerability presents itself in the form of a third eye perched atop its head. A cluster of crucial nerves is concealed within, serving as its only weak point. Magmatron. Magmatron, a formidable warrior general, encompasses both refined judgment and savage ferocity. As the esteemed leader of the Predacons aboard the interstellar vessel Dinosaur, Magmatron boasts three distinct beast modes, Landsaurus, Seasaurus, and Skysaurus. 
enabled by his unique mitotic spark, allowing him to seamlessly transition between these daunting forms or even combine these to transform into a single monstrosity called the Magmasaurus. Once Magmatron sets his sights on a goal, his unwavering determination propels him toward persistent victory, leaving no room for compromise or defeat. While his great physical prowess and commanding presence contribute to this fearsome nature, his true strength lies in his ability to inspire and rally his fellow Predacons under his charismatic leadership. Revered and admired by his loyal soldiers, Magmatron epitomizes the very essence of an emperor of destruction, deserving of such a grandiose title. Valuing his current position of power and eminence within the Predacon hierarchy, Magmatron treads carefully in his schemes and aspirations for future supremacy. While he harbors ambitions to ascend to the pinnacle of the Predacon order, he meticulously calculates the risks, unwilling to jeopardize his hard-earned standing. With the climax of Beast Wars Neo behind him, Magmatron returned to Cybertron. Guile Dart. Amongst the ranks of the scheming and treacherous Predacons, there exists a singular individual who stands apart. Guile Dart, a triceratops of unwavering loyalty. As a devoted minion of his leader, Magmatron, Guile Dart's tactical prowess is unparalleled, earning him the esteemed role of designing battle plans for his Predacon faction. However, beneath his facade of loyalty lies an ambitious mind, constantly seeking to ascend the chain of command. Unlike his deceitful peers, Guile Dart chooses to uphold a sense of honor and integrity in his pursuit of advancement. This unwavering commitment to honesty and honorable conduct earns him the irritation of his fellow Predacons, who view such virtues as weaknesses. Yet, undeterred by their disdain, Gyodart seizes every opportunity to prove himself deserving of promotion within the bounds of his principles. However, Gyodart's adherence to honor takes a back seat when faced with the Maximals. He readily abandons his moral nature, resorting to underhanded tactics to achieve his desired outcomes on the battlefield. Gyodart reveals himself as a valiant and fearsome warrior when push comes to shove, striking fear into the hearts of any Maximal foolish enough to challenge him. With his thunderous blast from the electrifying Thunderhorn and the devastating firepower of the tail shooter, he leaves a path of destruction in his wake. Saberback. Saberback, a bot shrouded in mystique, defies comprehension with his complex nature. As a sly trickster and master of deception, he weaves a web of lies that confuses even his fellow Predacons. Taking the form of a majestic Stegosaurus, Saberback roams the starship Dinosaur, his true origins cloaked in secrecy. Darkness permeates his every action, fueling his evil nature and granting him unparalleled proficiency in the realm of black magic. A true enigma, Saberback manipulates deadly illusions and spells with the skill of a seasoned sorcerer. His Mastery over the Dark Arts allows him to veil himself during battles, remaining hidden from prying eyes. With his crafty claw trap mode, he entices unsuspecting enemies, luring them closer with the allure of a mystical flower concealing his tail. Yet, amidst his cunning nature, Saberback's tendency to become too relaxed often leads him to succumb to sleep, missing many moments to ensnare Maximals with his alarming claw. A master of trickery, Saberback delights in toying with others, skillfully crafting elaborate lies to toy with their perceptions. His satisfaction knows no bounds as he teases endlessly enjoying the confusion he orchestrates. Sling. Sling manages to evoke a sense of compassion. Taking on the form of a noble Dimetrodon, he becomes the target of incessant ridicule, even from his own comrades. Burdened by his own denseness and naivety, Sling becomes the unwitting subject of mockery, though his own faults remain a mystery to him. Sling's voice emits a high-pitched cackle, a trait that grates on the nerves of his fellow soldiers. Despite his shortcomings, Sling possesses an infectious enthusiasm and an unwavering desire to please others. Given the opportunity to showcase his capabilities, he can, to some extent, exhibit a sliver of competence competence as a soldier. As a gung-ho warrior, Sling's alignment with evil stems primarily from the persuasion of his Predacon peers rather than any inherent evil within him. Equipped with a powerful tail bunker, Sling demonstrates a pretty versatile range of combat proficiency. Furthermore, he utilizes the sail on his back to ensnare unsuspecting foes, transforming it into a shield when assuming his robotic form. Though his potential shines through in moments, Sling's true worth often goes unrecognized dead end. Within the ranks of the powerful Predacon faction, we find a soldier who embodies the essence of loyalty and unwavering commitment. Meet Dead End, a figure who is the perfect example of the ideal traits of a Predacon warrior. He takes the form of a striking maroon Diabloceratops in his beast mode, blending strength and agility seamlessly. When combined with his fellow Predacons, he forms the massive Menasaur. Dead End's path to the front line was paved with achievements, having been held as the pride of the prestigious Predacon War Academy on the metallic expanse of Cybertron. Throughout 
his distinguished service, he earned the respect of his peers as a highly skilled wrestler, showcasing his prowess in the heat of battle. However, Dead End's preference for solitude often sets him apart, making him less inclined to engage in joint operations alongside his fellow Predacons. He prefers to express his inherent cruelty independently. With a keen interest in military history, he delves into the art of warfare to extract timeless strategies and tactics, seamlessly adapting them to fit the needs of modern combat. Dead End derives sheer pleasure from the art of battle and revels in the satisfaction of dispatching his adversaries to an untimely demise. Arcadis Unfazed by humility or modesty, Arcadis emerges as a masterful marksman handpicked by Magmatron himself to counter the relentless efforts of the Maximals. His beast mode takes the shape of an Archaeopteryx, a majestic bird-like creature soaring through the skies. A prominent member of the Predacons aboard the ship Dinosaur, Arcadis effortlessly exudes an air of self-importance which, albeit thinly veiled, is not entirely groundless given his exceptional combat skills. Basking in his own perceived superiority, this cunning trickster unabashedly enjoys the limelight, going to great lengths to showcase his fighting prowess. Arcadus is not above insulting and sabotaging others to further his own agenda. His calculated self-interest has earned him the irritation of both Maximals and Predacons alike, who despise his inflated ego and his penchant for flaunting his imagined superiority. He takes perverse pleasure in engaging his victims in conversation, relishing every opportunity to lord his alleged greatness over them. Underneath the immaculate facade and meticulously groomed exterior, Arcadus possesses a vast arsenal of deadly projectile attacks, ensuring that he can keep his adversaries at a safe distance. His proficiency with these ranged assaults is unparalleled, making him a force to be reckoned with on the battlefield. However, Arcadis is more inclined to retreat in hand-to-hand -hand combat than risk tarnishing his immaculate appearance or suffering even the slightest disturbance to his perfectly preened feathers. Denavi. Denavi exudes an overall knack for frustration, and there's simply no denying it. As the self-appointed princess of the Predacons, she holds herself above her comrades, constantly belittling them and asserting that she could outperform them with ease. This unrelenting attitude of condescension may rub others the wrong way, but the truth remains that Denavi plays a vital role in the Predacon operation, making her indispensable despite her annoying demeanor. Tasked with serving Magmatron's starship, Denavi operates as a moody and unpredictable force. Her interactions with her teammates often involve her insinuating that she would have achieved far greater success in their position. It's clear that Denavi possesses a high opinion of her own abilities, albeit an inflated one. However, beneath her smug facade lies an almost frightening intelligence capable of delivering on her grandiose claims. Denavi remains entangled in unrequited affection for Gaildart despite her boldness, as her love for him remains unreciprocated. Killer Punch The meticulous strategist of Magmatron's Predacons possesses an insatiable appetite for knowledge. His unyielding obsession revolves around the acquisition of information, which serves as the foundation for every strategy and action he undertakes. Taking on the startling form of a Styrocosaurus, Killer Punch stands as one of the Predacons aboard the starship Dinosaur, dutifully serving under Magmatron's command. Killer Punch wields a devastating technique known as the Mind Strike, a deceptive maneuver that not only inflicts damage upon his adversaries, but also functions as a secretive tracking device gathering valuable data on those it strikes. Killer Punch utilizes his beast mode head as a launcher in his robot mode, seamlessly transitioning from attack to exploration. Additionally, the head itself serves as a protective shield. His tail conceals a cleaving sword, ready to cleave through any obstacle. Driven by his unrelenting thirst for knowledge, Killer Punch has honed his skills as a cunning and deceitful agent, adept at setting traps and extracting vital intelligence. However, the weight of the immense data he's amassed has taken a toll on his sanity. Killer Punch now finds himself teetering on the brink of paranoia succumbing to wild conspiracy theories and readily believing even the most outlandish claims. He questions the motives and intentions of both allies and adversaries alike. Hydra. Loneliness consumed Hydra, the embodiment of desperation within the ranks of the Predacons. His beast mode took the form of a majestic Pteranodon, soaring through the skies as a member of Magmatron's starship, the Dinosaur. Despite possessing a razor-sharp tactical mind and unmatched speed, Hydra had forever eluded the attention and commendation of his esteemed leader, Magmatron, who regarded him merely as a fleeting thought. The burden of isolation weighed heavily upon Hydra's spirit. Assigned to the desolate outpost of Porcupine, he found himself yearning for companionship, for the warm of camaraderie and the validation of being acknowledged. However, fate had sentenced him to a solitary existence, leaving him to fill the void with his ever-flowing stream of terrible jokes, attempting to stave off the suffocating silence that enveloped him. Hydra's relentless pursuit of companionship often bordered on the excessive. His overzealous attempts at friendliness often unsettled his fellow Predacons. His desperate need for connection stemmed from a place of profound loneliness, furthered by his prolonged seclusion. Despite his peculiar mannerisms, Hydra remained a talented warrior, ever ready to lend his support 
when the Predacons required an additional hand in battle. Within his arsenal, Hydra wields the wing shot. This technique allows him to make a meaningful contribution to the Predacon cause when the tides of battle shift. Crazy Bolt Crazy Bolt, a bot with questionable courage, lacked both the swiftness of foot and the strength of mind that defined his fellow Predacons. He was often the first to flee when confronted with danger, seeking safety in the depths of cowardice. His beast mode mirrored his timid nature, taking the form of a frilled lizard, its vibrant frill serving as a futile attempt to mask his inherent weakness. Within the ranks of Magmatron's starship, the dinosaur, Crazy Bolt resided alongside his partners Bazooka and Hardhead. Crazy Bolt possessed a remarkable talent for the art of deception, spinning intricate webs of falsehoods with unsettling ease. Lies dripped from his tongue like like honey, crafted with the expertise of a seasoned con artist. His speech flowed effortlessly, conjuring new fabrications on the spot, and he delivered them with the unwavering confidence of a practiced liar. But his reputation as a pathological liar had spread among the Predacons like wildfire, casting a shadow of doubt upon even his sincerest speeches. The seeds of destruct took root in the hearts of his comrades, rendering it near impossible for Crazy Bolt to regain their trust, even when he occasionally revealed a sliver of genuine intent. Despite his shortcomings and the tarnished reputation that preceded him, Crazy Bolt persisted in his unyielding pursuit of advancement within the Predacon ranks. Bazooka Bazooka, a brave Predacon warrior, possesses a steadfast commitment to honor. When he makes a promise, he carries it with unwavering resolve, even if it leads him down a path of darkness and demise. His beast mode takes the shape of a Euoplocephalus, its armored exterior reflecting the impenetrable determination that lies within. Among the ranks of Magmatron starship, the Dinosaur, Bazooka stands tall as a trusted member, often finding himself partnered with his fellow Predacon, Crazy Bolt. Together, they hatched insane plans, utilizing mass to assume the guise of their maximal adversaries and infiltrating an ancient maximal vessel. Their exploits showcased Bazooka's unyielding sense of duty, earning him the admiration and appreciation of their leader, Magmatron, an honor that Bazooka holds dear. However, Bazooka possesses a naivety toward his unwavering principles, expecting his fellow Predacons to uphold the same standards of dedication and honor that he adheres to. It's his mistake to believe such proud ideals could flourish in the midst of such treacherous company. Nonetheless, Bazooka clings to the hope of inspiring his comrades to rise above their own baser instincts. Bazooka's resolve is as unyielding on the battlefield as the hardest rock. Any foe foolish enough to engage him in close combat is met with the full force of his Gigaton stamp attack, an earth-shattering blow delivered by the bony hammer at the tip of his tail. Hardhead Hardhead is a force to be reckoned with, driven by an unwavering determination to smash his way through any obstacle that dares to cross his path. As a Pachycephalosaurus, he possesses raw power that surpasses his limited understanding of his own form. Among the Predacons aboard Magmatron starship the Dinosaur, Hardhead's simplicity often leads him astray, struggling to maintain focus and quickly falling prey to even the slightest deception. However, beneath his seemingly dim-witted exterior lies a singular skill that salvages him from utter uselessness. When Hardhead directs his head toward a target, the impact is nothing short of catastrophic. His mighty cranial structure allows him to pulverize objects with unparalleled force. Even the slightest touch from his robust skull is enough to incapacitate most adversaries, leaving them grateful that Hardhead lacks the cognitive capacity to maximize his destructive potential. Though lacking in intellectual prowess, Hardhead's past as a military academy instructor hints at a deeper well of knowledge and experience. Only time will reveal if Hardhead can rise above his limitations and prove himself to be more than a mere wrecking force. Jetstorm. Jetstorm, a charismatic and confident leader, commands an intimidating force of aerial drones under Megatron's banner. His ultimate goal is to eradicate any remaining opposition on Cybertron, leaving no trace of resistance behind. With the unmatched skill to support his boastful nature, Jetstream enjoys both verbal and physical dominance. He derives immense satisfaction from taunting the Maximals, constantly reminding them of his superiority. Pop culture references roll off Jetstream's tongue effortlessly, injecting his conversations with a touch of modern flair. His arrogant demeanor is thinly veiled by a mask of cool indifference, though his volatile temper often seeps through. It takes little to provoke his wrath, and he eagerly unleashes his fury upon those who dare to challenge him. Despite his flaws, Jetstream possesses the wisdom to recognize when a situation becomes unsalvageable, choosing to retreat and cut his losses rather than face inevitable defeat. He may have an arsenal of aerial drones to reinforce his prowess, but he's far from foolish. One notable aspect of Jetstream's design is his lack of feet, rendering walking an impossibility. He maintains an airborne presence at all times, only touching the ground when circumstances force him into a prone or disabled state. This unique characteristic further enhances his dominance in the skies. 
Basso. Basso emerges as a figure who commands both fear and respect within the turmoil of the Beast Wars. His presence is elusive, often soaring at extreme altitudes. In his beast mode, Basso takes the form of a vibrant yellow jacket wasp, a guise that allows him to move swiftly and secretively. Unbeknownst to friend and foe alike, Basso harbors a secret that casts a shadow over his outward image of secrecy. He is, in truth, a complete and utter coward. His preference for long-range tactics stems solely from a constant fear of direct confrontation with the enemy. Whenever circumstances necessitate his appearance on the battlefield, he resorts to desperate measures, diligently seeking solace at the back of the action, hidden amidst a group of fellow attacking Predacons. Basso possesses a social disposition inclined toward gossip and exaggeration. Eager to secure recognition, he consistently entertains others with tales of his supposed triumphs on past missions, tirelessly asserting his own significance. Equipped with powerful boosters, Basso exhibits the remarkable capability of escaping planetary orbit, venturing into the vast expanse of space with much ease. Following the tumultuous events of the Beast Wars, Basso finds himself drawn back to his home planet, Cybertron. However, his allegiance takes an unexpected turn as he aligns himself with the Maximals, joining their relentless fight against the oppressive forces of Megatron's Vehicons. Iguanus In the realm of conflict between Optimus Primal's Maximals and the opposing Predacon forces, a truly dedicated warrior named Iguanus emerges. Firmly entrenched in his loyalty to the Predacon course, he envisions himself as a champion of freedom, engaged in a valiant struggle against the perceived tyranny of the Maximals. Though his name may seem odd considering his animal form, it originated from his initial conception as a frilled iguana, before being transformed into the lethal Gila monster. As a skilled soldier and trusted lieutenant, Iguanus possesses particular expertise in the realm of combat sabotage. Employing his cunning and resourcefulness, he deftly disrupts the advancements of his enemies, derailing their plans and sowing chaos amidst their ranks. Known for his penchant for delivering memorable lines, Iguanus exudes a calm confidence that bolsters his comrades and strikes fear into the hearts of his adversaries. Iguanus's ingenuity extends to the manipulation of devices, demonstrating his ability to reconfigure and repurpose instruments such as infrared detection dishes to self-destruct upon activation. Reveling in the destruction that his role permits, he carries an arsenal of firepower, unleashing devastation upon any Maximals who dare to impede his power. An intriguing footnote in Iguanus' history involves a misspelling of his name as Iguanus in toy listings. While he appeared in Japanese Beast Wars catalog group shots and was bestowed with a title, Iguanus himself never materialized as an actual toy release in Japan. Spitor. Spitor embodies the epitome of slimy behavior within the ranks of the Predacons. Characterized by his unwavering arrogance, excessive overconfidence, and above all, a notable lack of intellect. In the realm of IDW's Beast Wars The Gathering comics, glimpses of concept art reveal Spitor's Cybertronian alternate form as a two-footed mechanoid walker, boasting an acid-shooting weapon. Interestingly, it's worth mentioning that initially, the intended inclusion of Spitor in the 3H Wreckers team was meant for Gushar, a character from the Japanese car robot series utilizing the Transmetal 2 Spitor mold. While his innate stupidity often hinders his effectiveness, Spitor compensates for his intellectual shortcomings with a lethal arsenal of poisons that surpass the potency of a Cybertronian razor snake. When he manages to focus his anger, he becomes a force to be reckoned with. Merely a touch from his membranous skin is capable of injecting a devastating concoction of toxins into Maximal's system, driving them to the brink of insanity. Once weakened, Spitor employs his unique ability to subdue opponents by employing a powerful punch delivered with his remarkably elongated tongue. What sets Spitor apart is his exceptional versatility across various iterations. He stands as a testament to being the only non-show Beast Wars character to have been released in multiple forms, encompassing an organic beast, a transmetal, and a transmetal too. Transkito. Transkito, a mysterious presence within their midst, is universally despised by both Maximals and Predacons alike. Surprisingly, this hatred brings Transkito an unusual sense of fulfillment, as he derives great pleasure from irritating and exasperating those around him. In fact, he actively seeks out opportunities to drive others to the brink of madness, relishing in the chaos he causes. His alt mode adapts the form of an organic mosquito. Maybe that's the reason for all the hate. Naturally, his fellow Predacons find it best to keep him as far away as possible from their ranks, effectively relegating him to reconnaissance duties. It's during these ventures that Transkito's unique talent for tracking and uncovering hidden maximal outposts truly shines. However, despite his prowess as a hunter, his intellectual capacities leave much to be desired, rendering him susceptible to being outwitted and outmaneuvered. When Transkito assumes his combat mode, he wields a deadly poison-tipped pincer, capable of fending off multiple Maximals simultaneously. A single strike from these venomous appendages not only inflicts a maddening rash upon the unfortunate victim, but also incites a hysterical rage within their core. Moreover, his mighty wings grant him incredible speed, accompanied by a piercing screech that instigates profound irritation within the minds of his enemies, unsettling their mental state. Man Terror 
Man Terror embodies a deadly essence, an entity that thrives on inflicting torment. In its primal form, he takes on the visage of a praying mantis, an insect known for its predatory nature. In the pages of the IDW comics, he's often depicted alongside his compatriot, Buzzclaw. During his time on Cybertron, Man Terror assumed the guise of a sleek dragster-type vehicle, utilizing his internal stealth silences to stealthily approach his unsuspecting maximal adversaries. Paradoxically, his hunched and seemingly awkward exterior might easily deceive opponents, luring them into a false sense of security. When the perfect moment arises, Man Terror swiftly strikes, employing his razor-sharp claws and ion discs to incapacitate his foes with unparalleled precision. Once an adversary lies defeated, he enjoys the sinister pleasure of meticulously disassembling them, dissecting their form. The mere mention of his penchant for employing such gruesome tactics sends shivers down the spines of those who encounter him. In addition to his dark disposition, Mantera possesses a peculiar fondness for puns, often weaving them into his usual speech. This twisted sense of humor serves as yet another tool in his arsenal, intended to unnerve and disorient his opponents, increasing their suffering. Retrax Retrax emerges as a seasoned warrior, utilizing his unique pill bug form to overpower adversaries with remarkable efficiency. Originating from a mysterious past, Retrax's true identity remains somewhat shrouded in mystery. Among the multitude of protoforms dispatched by the Axolon onto prehistoric Earth, Retrax was among those subjected to the experiments of the Tripredicus Council. Through the utilization of transwarp energy, he underwent a transformation, shedding his former existence and embracing a rebirth in a purer and more potent physical vessel. Specializing in the art of desert demolitions, Retrax finds solace within the intricate network of tunnels concealed beneath the scorching dunes. These underground abodes serve as both a refuge and a strategic advantage, granting him respite from the sweltering heat above. In an intriguing display of resourcefulness, Retrax repurposes the remains of his fallen adversaries as his loyal companions, creating an unsettling roster of those he's triumphed over. However, concealed beneath his imposing facade lies a heart plagued by cowardice. At the slightest indication of being overwhelmed by the opposing forces, Retrax's instinctual fear takes hold, propelling him into a swift retreat. Utilizing his unique ability to curl into a defensive bug ball, he navigates along an intricate labyrinth of pre-planned escape routes, seeking safety above all else. Snapper Snapper, a notorious and grumpy Predacon, is renowned for his endless irritation and incessant complaints about every aspect of existence. Those foolish enough to attempt to try to brighten his mood or encourage a more positive outlook are swiftly met with a barrage of ungrateful insults and a vehement rant. His compatriots attest that it's a rare occurrence for him to refrain from vocalizing his discontent, except in the direst of circumstances where silence is the only viable option. Interestingly, Snapper was initially referred to as Buzzsaw during the developmental stages before the name found a different recipient. In his pre-beast form, Snapper's vehicular body in the pages of Beast Wars Uprising draws inspiration from the distinguished Generation's fall of Cybertron Deluxe Class Twin Twist. Magmatron, the enigmatic leader, embarked upon a momentous journey to prehistoric Earth with a singular objective, to gather a ruthless army employing the Axelon's protoforms. Within this assemblage, Snapper found himself among the fortunate few whose transformation into Predacons proved successful. Snapper defies the stereotypical perception of turtles as sluggish creatures by possessing a robust and imposing superstructure, complemented by the power of jet-propelled thrusters. Snapper is unequivocally devoid of any good qualities. Grimlock himself, renowned for his colossal stature and presence, once utilized Snapper as a mere footrest during the events of ascending for this very reason. Insecticon Insecticon, a peculiar and unnerving entity, stands out among his fellow Predacons. While most dislike the mundane task of monitor duty, he relishes the opportunity to engage in surveillance. With unwavering dedication, he invests hours upon hours observing his surroundings, meticulously documenting every detail to construct an extensive database. He goes to great lengths pursuing his passion, deploying concealed recording devices that form an intricate network, ensuring no fragment of information escapes his notice. After that, he thoroughly reviews the footage from the safety of his hidden underground lair, scrutinizing each frame. Insecticon's alt mode manifests as a fierce stag beetle, perfectly suited to his evil nature. As a typical Predacon soldier, he harbors an insatiable appetite for combat. However, his true colors shine through when confronted with overwhelming odds, as cowardice takes hold. Lacking considerable physical strength, he shies away from direct confrontations on the front lines, instead opting for a disturbing and twisted game of his own design. Leveraging his highly sensitive antenna capable of sonar detection, Insecticon adeptly tracks down encroaching Maximals infiltrating Predacon territory. His weapon of choice, an Energon crossbow, delivers devastating blows that overload mechanical systems upon impact, mortifying his adversaries. Yet, his actions extend beyond mere physical harm. Insecticon then forces his fallen foes to to bear witness to a real-time feed depicting the suffering and injuries sustained by their comrades on the ravaged battlefield.
Laserbeak, swift and elusive, Laserbeak emerges as a savage aerial marauder driven by an insatiable thirst for conflict. Unyielding in his pursuit, he relishes in exploiting the one vulnerability that Maximals possess, their susceptibility to high temperatures. As a stealthy Predacon operative under the command of Soundwave, Laserbeak assumes the guise of a condor, soaring through the skies with unrivaled speed. His chosen path is that of a shadowy spy adept at blending into the unseen corners and hidden perches of his surroundings. From these vantage points, he diligently gathers valuable intelligence to relay to his superiors, employing a laser weapon to support his covert endeavors. However, the fervent and aggressive use of this energy-intensive weapon swiftly depletes Laserbeak's reserves, leaving him with limited capacity for sustained aerial assaults before being forced to revert to his Pteranodon form. Laserbeak finds solace and confidence in his preferred strategy of stealth and fraud, rooted in his inherent cowardice. When confronted with a diminishing energy supply or the emergence of a substantial threat, he hastily retreats, seeking refuge in the safety of the horizon. Much like every other Predacon, courage evades him, and self-preservation becomes his paramount concern. Razor Claw. Razor Claw defies the conventional archetype of a Predacon, setting himself apart from his counterparts with his unique approach to seizing power. While other Predacons resort to deceit, treachery and manipulation, Razor Claw embraces a patient and calculated strategy. His beast mode resembles that of a fiddler crab. Rather than hastily asserting his dominance at the first sign of opportunity, Razor Claw bides his time, confident that his unwavering commitment will eventually elevate him to the upper limits of power. This methodical and deliberate approach may require considerable patience, but Razor Claw possesses an abundance of this virtue. This patient demeanor also extends to his hunting tactics against the Maximals. As a swift assailant among the Predacons, Razor Claw lies in wait beneath the sand, concealed and patient. He awaits the arrival of unsuspecting prey, carefully selecting the perfect moment to strike. With his lethal claw, he captures his unfortunate Maximal target, subjecting them to an unwavering grip that crushes all hope of escape. Following the conclusion of the Beast Wars, Razor Claw was reactivated on Earth by the duo of Tarantulas and Ravage, alongside other programmed Predacons, embarking on new missions and endeavors. Scavenger Scavenger embodies the essence of viciousness as a transmetal Predacon. Taking the form of a fire ant in his beast mode and a drilling machine in his vehicle mode, he exudes an aura of wickedness. Interestingly, Scavenger's toy was initially intended to represent the transmetal incarnation of Inferno. Early promotional images even featured the name Inferno on the abdomen, though the reason for the alteration remains a mystery. Among the protoforms abandoned by the crew of the Axelon on prehistoric Earth, Scavenger was activated and subjected to chronal phase manipulation by Razor Beast at the request of Magmatron. Dispatched initially to eliminate Razor Beast and his small faction, Scavenger's assault was disrupted. Contrary to previous reports suggesting his role as the infantry commander, Scavenger exhibits a profound interest in psychological warfare. He derives great satisfaction from inducing fear in others, employing intimidation as a tactical advantage. His preferred method involves manipulating and blackmailing his adversaries, leveraging their vulnerabilities to sow terror. Additionally, Scavenger has developed deadly viruses capable of inducing hallucinations in his foes, further augmenting his arsenal of psychological manipulation. While his primary function remains ambiguous, Scavenger relishes employing his drilling configuration to orchestrate surprise ambushes against unsuspecting Maximals from beneath the ground. This underground assault technique serves as a testament to his cunning and resourcefulness. Terrigator Terrigator is a unique Predacon with a peculiar affinity for the grimy and repugnant. His persistent odor can only be described as offensive as he revels in the filth that surrounds him. Surprisingly, this revolting characteristic serves a purpose, allowing him to seamlessly blend into the swampy environment, which mirrors the fusion of his alligator and snapping turtle beast modes. His amphibious nature poses a constant threat to Maximals as he can strike from both land and water, catching unsuspecting foes off guard. During his time on Cybertron, Terrigator specialized in traversing through the intricate network of sewer tunnels and other unsavory locales. In battle, this Fusor brandishes a resilient diamond hard shield that doubles as a protective shell in his beast mode. His blaster unleashes concentrated heat rays capable of cooking his targets from the inside out. However, Terrigator's devotion to filth can sometimes prove detrimental. His systems are ill-equipped to handle the contaminants he frequently encounters, leading to potential malfunctions that can severely disrupt his circuits if not addressed with utmost care. Power Pinch. Power Pinch embodies a relentless and driven persona, driven by a thirst for power and dominance. His spiteful nature knows no bounds, as he constantly schemes to undermine even himself in his insatiable pursuit of control. Furthermore, he exhibits a cruel and distasteful penchant for mistreating innocent animals, cementing his reputation as a truly vile being. Taking the form of an earwig and driven by an obsession to perpetually operate at optimum efficiency, Power Pinch meticulously fine-tunes his internal systems, ensuring he performs at maximum speed without compromise. However, this relentless pursuit for peak performance 
performance renders him plagued by a short attention span. As a result, his actions, speech, and movements occur at dizzying speeds, further emphasizing his lightning-fast nature. Sky Shadow Sky Shadow is an enigmatic figure skilled in the art of political manipulation and deception. Unlike the typical politician, Sky Shadow harbors a deep loathing for his fellow predicates, and his true intentions are far from good. With a beast mode that combines the qualities of an enigmatic iguana and a graceful dragonfly, Sky Shadow's external appearance perfectly reflects his deceptive nature. Despite his detest for his comrades, Sky Shadow has managed to cultivate a loyal following among his constituents. An impressive feat considering the morally dubious characters that populate the Predacon faction. However, his motivations are purely self-serving, driven solely by personal gain and ambition. This slimy politician is renowned for his duplicitous nature, effortlessly executing double crosses and betrayals to further his own agenda. Sky Shadow's uncanny ability to blend in with his surroundings has earned him the title of Camouflage Expert. He utilizes his razor-sharp wings, capable of slicing even through the most durable Cybertronian armor. Additionally, his arsenal of turbo missiles serves as the perfect tool for eliminating any remaining threats threats. Behind his charming and smooth facade lies a seething contempt for everyone, including the likes of Megatron. Sky Shadow bides his time, patiently maneuvering and pulling the strings necessary to permanently eradicate his political opponents. His ultimate goal is to seize control of the Predacons, ascending to a position of absolute power. Buzzclaw Buzzclaw is an imposing and fearsome warrior, renowned for his unwavering focus and unyielding confidence on the battlefield. He exudes an air of arrogance and condescension and boasts of his exceptional skills without hesitation. However, behind this facade of strength lies a deeply insecure and emotionally fragile robot. In the past, Buzzclaw led a mundane existence as a passionate sports fan, lacking a sense of purpose or fulfillment. But fate intervened when he was unexpectedly chosen to participate in the Games, where he emerged victorious against all odds. This momentous achievement transformed him into a fearsome Fusor warrior. Beneath Buzzclaw's outwardly deadly, proud, and snide demeanor lies a tortured soul plagued by self-doubt and paralyzing paranoia. He carries a constant burden of believing that others are perpetually scrutinizing him, passing judgment on his every action, and finding him lacking. This overwhelming fear of rejection has driven him to isolate himself from his comrades, choosing to work alone as a protective measure against the anticipated judgment he fears. His arsenal includes ion discs, distinct from his other Predacon companions. Buzzclaw's true origins and his origins among the Predacon ranks remain somewhat of a mystery. Injector The Injector is a peculiar Predacon with an excessive amount of self-assurance. Despite his grotesque appearance, he firmly believes he's the epitome of beauty and charm. His beast mode combines the characteristics of a lionfish and a hornet, resulting in a unique creature. However, a cunning, charismatic, and, and utterly malicious warrior lies beneath his arrogant and flamboyant facade. Injector's vanity doesn't diminish his status as one of the most fearsome aerial predators. His weapon seamlessly integrates into his arm, creating the illusion of a deadly weapon limb. This deceptive design often leads observers to believe that Injector possesses a single weaponized appendage instead of two functional hands. While some speculate that Injector's vanity may be a facade masking hidden pain, he is indeed just that shallow and self-centered, with no particular depth of thought or character. Scourge Scourge embodies a disturbed and enigmatic essence. Forged by Unicron in 2005, along with his baffling companions known as the Sweeps, his form manifests as an ominous, dark blue creature resembling a locust. The intricate transformation process grants him a Transmetal II configuration, fusing organic and mechanical elements into a nightmarish hybrid locust. In the ancient era, Scourge was sought out and recruited by the enigmatic Magmatron, who had arrived on Earth. As a specialist in the realm of bio-warfare, Scourge possesses a unique set of skills manipulating the delicate balance of life itself for his own sinister ends. Unapologetically unattractive, Scourge's physical appearance reflects the twisted depths of his mind. Sealed within his left eye sockets resides his spark crystal, a core element of his being. With calculated precision, his wings can be activated through the manipulation of a complex plunger mechanism located within his beast mode abdomen. Notably, the left wing harbors a spring-loaded missile launcher, adding a lethal edge to his arsenal. The right wing, however, primarily serves as a storage compartment for an additional launchable missile, ensuring a swift and devastating response when necessary. Scarum, a clone of Insecticon. Scarum embodies a methodical and strategic presence as a Transmetal II insectoid warrior. His existence traces back to a mysterious genesis, 
originating from the clandestine endeavors of Megatron within the realm of experimental replication. Within his metallic frame lies the form of a majestic stag beetle, reflecting both his resilience and power in battles. Shrouded in an aura of calculated detachment, Scarum approaches combat with a meticulous mindset. Every move he makes is infused with thoughtful aggression, fueled by a deep-seated resentment toward Maximals born from his enigmatic past. This tumultuous origin story has sculpted him into a tough adversary, a force to be reckoned with for any who dare stand against him. The outcome of his journey beyond his battles in the IDW Beast Wars comics remains veiled in uncertainty, leaving his ultimate fate obscured from our knowledge. Onyx Primal the first Nemesis Prime type character. Once upon a time, Onyx Primal emerged as a standout operative within the illustrious Tripredicus Council, despite possessing a penchant for theatricality. Interestingly, Onyx Primal was bestowed with the alias Blackie as a nod to the Micromance saga. His graceful movements remain shrouded in absolute silence, and his platform's ingenious stealth mechanism rendered him virtually invisible to most scanning devices. Onyx Primal, characterized by an arrogant desire for recognition, swiftly claimed credit for any triumphs within his proximity, while adeptly shifting blame onto others for his own failures. However, due to a severe falling out with his former Predacon allies, circumstances compelled him to reluctantly align himself with the Maximals. Notably, this transition from Predacon to Maximal seemed to have been mandated by a directive from Hasbro, owing to the actual utilization of the mold for a Maximal character. Mutual disgust permeated the relationship between Onyx Primal and his newfound Maximal companions. Yet the intricacies of their predicament prevented either side from rejecting the other's assistance. As an accomplished operative skilled in the arts of espionage and secret elimination of his enemies, Onyx Primal's reign showcased his master in these realms. However, given his current allegiance to the Maximals, opportunities to employ his assassination expertise remained scarce. Antagony Antagony emerges as quite the force within the ranks of the enigmatic Predacon warlord Shockeract. As the Herald Maximo, she holds a position second only to Shockeract himself her influence casting a dark shadow across the land. Unbeknownst to Antagony, her origins are shrouded in mystery, for she believes herself to be a time-traveling agent from the future. However, the truth unveils a different narrative, as she is, in fact, an experimental creation devised by mysterious beings known as the Vok. Antagony embodies the essence of antagonism. Her form is reminiscent of an insect paying homage to her ant-like mode. Possessing a heart devoid of empathy or compassion, she's ruthlessness personified. Though her allegiance remains unwaveringly bound to Shockeract, she spares no effort to ensure her position as the Herald Maximo, resorting to cunning schemes and manipulative tactics without venturing into outright rebellion. An intriguing aspect of Antagony lies in her near invulnerability, bestowed upon her by the impenetrable armor she adorns. Shockerack. Once a humble warrior known as Hunter, Shockerack's journey took an unexpected turn when he stumbled upon the forbidden dark essence of Unicron. With this, he created a mystical matrix that possessed a mysterious essence, and its dark power resonated with the depths of his ambition. Embracing the evil entity's malevolence, Hunter underwent a transformation that would forever alter his destiny. Emerging as Shockerack, terrorizing force in the cosmos, he wielded the nefarious power of the Matrix of Conquest a twisted emblem representing his insatiable thirst for domination. Driven by an all-consuming desire, Shokorak set his sights on a single objective, to ascend as the unrivaled ruler of the vast universe. He takes the alt form of a transmetal King Crab, added with a third all-terrain tank option. His origins as a humble Predacon under Megatron's rule become a mere thing of the past, buried beneath layers of myth and lore. Shokorak's path diverged significantly from the chronicles depicted in the Beast Machines cartoon, weaving a new narrative where his rise to power or no resemblance to any previous storylines. Drillbit Drillbit is a true master of disguise, concealing his true nature beneath a seemingly unremarkable exterior. If one were to observe him in his everyday life, it'd be easy to dismiss him as an ordinary bot, obediently following orders without a trace of thought or any sort of intelligence. However, beneath his unassuming facade lies a sharp and astute mind well-versed in the art of manipulation. Taking the form of a mysterious ball weevil, Drillbit played a pivotal role within the Resistance Command during the Grand Uprising. As the trusted right hand of Magmatron, he carefully concealed his insatiable thirst for power, patiently biding his time for the perfect opportunity to ascend to greater heights. With an impressive drill arm at his disposal, Drillbit effortlessly dispatches Maximals on the battlefield. His drill arm can seamlessly transform and adapt for use in his beast mode, spinning with precise efficiency through a gear wheel mechanism. He employs a cunning strategy, thoughtfully positioning himself to exploit the vulnerabilities of his foes. By meticulously drilling the terrain, he creates a hazardous and puzzling battleground, 
enticing his adversaries to their own self-destruction. However, despite his calculated approach, Drillbit's journey is marked by numerous and spectacular failures. Yet, he remains undeterred, continuously learning from his mistakes and leveraging them as stepping stones toward his ultimate ambition. Backslash Backslash is a captivating character, a master manipulator whose silver tongue is matched only by his lethal prowess with an energy blade. His distinctive coloration draws inspiration from the enigmatic armada Pterosaur. Employed by the powerful Cryotech, Backslash is often assigned to carry out covert and deadly missions. Alongside his trusted partner known as Clamps, Backslash forms an unstoppable duo that combines skills making up Team Alpha. One of their assignments led them to the maximal power station B4Y, where their objective was to disrupt the vital power supply to the Cybertropolis Maximal Data Archive. Initially created to serve as a member of the Predacon police force, Backslash's activation took an unexpected turn. In a shocking act of defiance, he swiftly eliminated his indoctrination officer. He vanished into the twisting streets, embracing a life of crime. Backslash's meticulously crafted CGI model takes inspiration from the striking design of the Energon Skyblast toy, blending it with his own unique aesthetic. Despite his extensive history of misdeeds, Backslash has managed to elude capture, leaving no trace of his criminal activities. This has earned him an aura of invincibility, a reputation as somewhat untouchable in the eyes of law enforcement. Bolar Bolar is a prime example of a bruiser within the ranks of the Predacon faction. While he may lack intellectual prowess and have disregard for his commanding officer, he compensates with his proficiency in wielding an Energon Bolar, a weapon he takes pleasure in utilizing. The name and physical traits of Bolar draw inspiration from a character named Bolar, who belonged to the malevolent Destructors in the Starios toy line by Tomy during the 1980s. It's worth noting that Bolar doesn't have an established visual representation in any Transformers media or merchandise thus far. However, that may change in the future as new iterations of the Transformers franchise continue to unfold. During a significant event, Bolar and his companion Sawtooth found themselves stationed at a Predacon stronghold where they held the maximal captive known as Wing Saber. When Wing Saber managed to engineer her escape from the confines of the interrogation chamber, she cunningly deceived Bolar and Sawtooth, manipulating them into turning against their own commander, Steelgrave. While the outcome of their clash remains unknown, it is speculated that Steelgrave may have survived the encounter. The fate of Bolar, however, remains uncertain. Cryotech Cryotech thrives within the treacherous depths of Cybertron's illicit underworld, where he holds sway as a menacing figure. Cryotech's distinct digital representation draws inspiration from the Energon Shock Blast toy, imbuing him with a unique presence. Once revered as a brilliant and visionary engineer, Cryotech turned his talents toward a darker path, enticed by the allure of forbidden technologies. His inventive mind birthed a new generation of body frames, meticulously crafted to comply with legal standards for construction and research. While these designs were abundant in power and adorned with armaments, they managed to maintain an outward appearance of legitimacy. Cryotech's own cryotank form stood as a testament to a Predacon's unparalleled strength, operating at the limits of what could be achieved without the rarefied clearance granted by governmental authorities. Together with his loyal cadre of bodyguards, Cryotech orchestrated a tightly knit organization, skillfully skirting the edges of legality and consistently confusing the Maximal Command Security Force. Despite relentless efforts, the Maximal Forces remained powerless to unearth substantial evidence to arrest him. In a strange twist of fate, Cryotech's claim to recognition came in the form of his protege, a renegade Predacon who would later adopt the name Megatron. It was through Megatron's rise to power that Cryotech's most ingenious concepts found new life, albeit under his former apprentice's command. Bug Bite 2 Bug Bite 2 emerges as a rogue automaton masquerading under the guise of a Predacon, concealing its true origins as a renegade drone hailing from the mysterious realm of Gobots. While initially intended as a contingency body for Bug Bite, a renowned entity now absent from the scene due to ventures into alternate realities, this insectoid creation finds itself stationed on Gobotron, faithfully safeguarding the operations of the Renegade faction. The inception of Bug Bite 2 materialized as a fragment of an unrealized initiative aimed at developing fresh figures in the form of innovative heads. Drawing inspiration from the non-mutant robot head of the original Waspinator toy, this endeavor intended to integrate these novel heads alongside the remaining inventory of Waruda Marauders, held by the Transformers Collectors Club. By repurposing Paralyzer, the concept of Bug Bite 2 began to take shape, ready to embark on its own distinct journey. Arachnid Arachnid stands tall as a colossal fortress constructed by the Predacons during the Age of the Beast Wars. 
crafted with meticulous precision by the cunning mind of Tarantulus, this titanic structure serves as a stronghold for the Predacon forces amidst the unfamiliar terrains of planet Earth. Endowed with a great deal of weaponry and an intricate web-shooting mechanism, Arachnid ensnares any daring Maximals who attempt to escape from its grasp. Drawing inspiration from his own elaborate personality program, Tarantulus infused Arachnid's artificial intelligence with a hint of his own essence. As a result, the primary consciousness within Arachnid finds a twisted delight in subjecting its captured maximal adversaries to a cruel game of torment. With a mind attuned to reveling in the suffering of its prey, Arachnid's malevolence knows no bounds. Cataclysm Cataclysm emerges as an intimidating figure within the ranks of the Predacons, relentlessly ascending the hierarchical ladder under the banner of the enigmatic Shockeract. Driven by a fervent ambition, he seeks to claim the coveted title of Herald Maximo, positioning himself as the second-in-command to Shockeract. He first originated from a promotional poster showcased at the renowned BotCon 2000. Inspired by the primal essence of the transmetal Cheetor, Cataclysm embodies an undeniable hatred towards Antagony, the current holder of the Herald Maximo mantle. Their bitter rival sparks a constant struggle for supremacy, each vying to undermine and eliminate the other. Miraculously surviving the cataclysmic events of the first Viacon apocalypse, Cataclysm emerges from the wreckage, ready to engage in a battle for representation within the newly formed Cybertronian Parliament. Alas! Fate delivers a crushing blow as he finds himself defeated by Antagony and retreats into the shadows of defeat. While no physical representation in the form of a toy was ever brought forth for Cataclysm, his presence and influence echoed throughout the realm of the Predacons. Cyber Raptor The Cyber Raptor stands as a remarkable fusion of organic and cybernetic elements, product of Megatron's early forays into the realm of Transmetal 2 technology. In his relentless pursuit to uproot the seeds of humanity, Megatron unleashed a horde of Cyber Raptors upon the proto-human population. While the intended annihilation of mankind proved unsuccessful, the experiment yielded valuable insights for Megatron, confirming the power of his Transmetal 2 advancements. The Cyber Raptor possesses a fearsome arsenal forged from a blend of Cybertronian alloys and enhanced with optical armaments. However, its vulnerability lies in the cyber control. It's worth noting that while Dinobot's genetic material and the transmetal driver played a role in the creation of the Cyber Raptor, intelligence was not a prominent trait bestowed upon the creature. Functioning akin to its organic raptor counterparts, the Cyber Raptor partakes in group hunts, exhibiting behaviors indicative of a primal predator. Regrettably, because its cognitive capabilities fall short, it's rendered incapable of effective communication or strategic thinking when faced with the Maximals or the proto-human populace. Nevertheless, the knowledge of acquired during the development of the Cyber Raptor served as a catalyst for future endeavors, notably culminating in the creation of Dinobot 2. Double Punch With a calculating demeanor and a shrewd disposition, Double Punch is a highly skilled operative specializing in the art of assassination, proficient in a multitude of lethal techniques. Inspired by the cultural significance of scorpions in Japanese lore, Double Punch's striking crimson coloration was chosen to pay homage to this tradition. As for its designation, it draws a deliberate nod to the renowned Generation 1 action master elite known as Double Punch. Possessing the uncanny ability to render himself invisible at will, Double Punch's self-absorbed and bold nature demands that he claim full credit for each of his meticulously executed deaths. He revels in a grotesque spectacle of bloodshed and death, craving the fame and recognition of his unparalleled skill. However, when it comes to the intricate web of Predacon politics, Double Punch's audacious facade disappears considerably. While he deludes himself into believing he holds considerable influence, his actual modus operandi revolves around slyly inclining himself with individuals on all sides of a given issue, leveraging their positions to enhance his own. He remains ever vigilant, ready to betray those unfortunate souls who find themselves on the losing end. Undeniably, Double Punch's most glaring flaw is his overwhelming arrogance, which blinds him to the limits of his own abilities. This conceit often compels him to undertake missions that exceed his skill set, placing him at significant risk. Fractal Since his reawakening from stasis, Fractal has displayed an unwavering fixation on unraveling the mysteries of Strange Planet's abundant Energon reserves, overshadowing any desire to engage in battle against the Maximals. Despite Megatron's persistent efforts to mold him into a seasoned warrior, Fractal remains steadfast in his pursuits. Taking the form of a majestic pterodactyl, his beast mode exudes a captivating blend of emerald, slate grey, and gilded hues. In terms of toy design, Fractal is an original creation, transforming effortlessly from a giant pterodactyl into a resilient robot form through an ingeniously engineered one-step process. Uncovering a new energy source that he dubbed Fermanite, Fractal firmly believed in its potential as an energon armor, shielding Transformers from the detrimental effects of the volatile substance without relying on a beast mode. While he possesses exceptional expertise in geochemistry, Fractal's actual value as a combatant is frequently overshadowed by his tendency to become a liability in the heat of battle. Despite his inherent limitations, Fractal persistently strives to earn the admiration and respect of his fellow 
fellow Predacons, sometimes to the detriment of the overall team dynamics. In a remarkable display of synergy, Fractal harmoniously combines with the Valiant Wreckers to form the ginormous entity known as Wreckage. This amalgamation harnesses the collective strengths of its constituents, reinforcing their effectiveness in the face of adversity. Headstrong. Headstrong possesses an unwavering belief in the power of his determination, firmly convinced that it can compensate for any minor shortcomings he may have. His alternate mode takes the form of a transmetal rhino, exuding strength and resilience. When the need arises, Headstrong can combine forces with his fellow Predacons to form the mighty Predator King. Unlike many of his predatory counterparts, Headstrong doesn't solely rely on carnivorous tendencies. As a rhino, he happily consumes any leafy vegetation that comes his way, making him one of the unique members of Predator King's parts. While he may not possess Possess the title of being the most intelligent of the lot, Headstrong eagerly wields his diffraction sword, utilizing its ability to disorient his opponent's vision. By creating illusions that deceive their senses, he often manages to appear in a different location than perceived. However, this advantage is somewhat hindered by his own less than optimal eyesight. Inconsistencies arise when observing Headstrong's robot mode character model, particularly regarding the orientation of his rhino head. When viewed from the front, his head appears to face backwards. Conversely, when observed from the back, the rhino head is positioned upward, creating a distinct visual disparity. Appearing quite rugged from a distance, Headstrong possesses glowing plasma spheres that explode upon contact, posing a significant threat to distant foes. Jaguar. The enigmatic figure known as Jaguar has undergone a mysterious transformation that left his sanity shattered. The reasons behind this descent into madness remain shrouded in uncertainty. What is clear is that Jaguar's fractured mind has severed his ties with his father, Ravage, a respected Decepticon veteran who was chosen to disown his troubled offspring. Interestingly, Jaguar also bears the name of his father's Japanese counterpart, adding a layer of complexity to their strained relationship. In an attempt to reconcile this discrepancy, the manga refers to Jaguar's father as General Jaguar. Now driven by a delusional belief in a divine mission, Jaguar has set his sights on a path of indiscriminate slaughter, sparing no one. This makes him somewhat of a threat to both Maximals and Predacons, as he becomes an unpredictable force of chaos. With lightning-fast speed, flawless coordination, and unmatched marksmanship skill with his twin pistols, Jaguar proves to be a deadly adversary. Engaging in close quarters combat only exposes his opponents to swift and merciless death, as his unmatched reaction speed renders their attempts to strike back futile. Jaguar's relentless rampage knows no bounds. After an attack that claimed the lives of innocent civilians from both ranks, Jaguar's reign of terror eventually came to an end. He was captured and imprisoned, but the lingering question remains whether his shattered mind can ever be healed. Megatron X Megatron X is a mysterious entity shrouded in secrecy whose origins and purpose remain unknown. This enigmatic being has garnered the attention of Vector Prime, who speculates that Megatron X might have been artificially created by unknown forces associated with the Vok. However, these theories are mere conjecture, and the truth behind Megatron X's existence remains elusive. Megatron X possesses an awe-inspiring form reminiscent of a dragon, evoking a sense of raw power and ferocity. This distinct appearance, resembling the Transmetal 2 variant, is seen in the toy line is believed to be the result of an infusion of the original Megatron's essence during the incident known as Master Blaster. This infusion granted Megatron X unparalleled strength, allowing him to lead his forces in a devastating assault that resulted in the defeat of Optimus Primal and the entire Maximal faction. Having seized control of Cybertron through a combination of a calculated strategy, technological advancements, and the relentless pursuit of his goals, Megatron X now reigns supreme over the planet. With his dominion established, his focus shifts toward a new objective locating and subjugating the enigmatic Vok. Determined and driven, Megatron X sees the Vok as his next conquest, believing their power and influence will elevate his supremacy to even greater heights. Vice Grip In the midst of a group of eccentric Predacons led by Megatron, Vice Grip stands out as a stranger. Unlike his unpredictable comrades, Vice Grip is a model of unwavering loyalty, reliability, and unwavering dedication to the cause. He approaches each assigned mission with utmost determination, giving his all to ensure its success. His alt mode takes the form of an earwig, a creature known for its resilience and adaptability in the natural world. Vice Grip's exceptional qualities have earned him the respect of even the most vile and treacherous Predacons within Megatron's ranks. His steadfast loyalty to his leader is unmatched, and his unwavering support serves as a pillar of strength for the team. When Cybertron fell victim to the devastating wrath of Thunder Mayhem, many held on to the hope that Vice Grip had managed to escape the destruction, but his fate remained uncertain. 
Wind Razor, an experiment of desperate measures yielded a bad outcome in a future era plagued by turmoil and dominated by the terrorizing Predacon Warlord Shocker Act. Within the small resistance force composed of Maximals and Predacons, courageous Maximal known as the Veteran found himself merging his spark with a dying Predacon called the Cub. This fusion resulted in the creation of Wind Razor, a unique being with a dual-sparked essence. Wind Razor's physical form in the Beast Wars Uprising series draws inspiration from the Prime Beast Hunter's deluxe class Dreadwing toy, but his true spirit lies in the unique amalgamation of the Veteran and the Cub, forming a character with a compelling and complex narrative. Wind Razor embodies a combination of youthful recklessness and battle-hardened wisdom, theoretically benefiting from the strengths of both personas. However, due to the imperfect nature of the merging process, the component personalities within Wind Razor often clash, vying for control over his actions. Remarkably, Wind Razor possesses knowledge not only of the ongoing Beast Wars, but also the ability to recognize Megatron's dragon form upon sight. This insight sets him apart and grants him a distinct advantage in certain situations. Sandstorm. Sandstorm operates in the shadows as a mysterious and enigmatic robot, concealing his true identity as Scorpius, a member of an elusive group known as the Covenant. Like the astrological sign Scorpio, Scorpius embodies a sense of intrigue and secrecy. During the development stage, Sandstorm was initially intended to be named Quicksand. However, a collaborative effort between 3H and Hasbro led to a change in name to align with existing trademarks. This demonstrated a strengthening partnership between the two companies. With vast knowledge and experience spanning billions of years, Scorpius became the Covenant's expert in navigating the treacherous world of court politics. As the crisis on Cybertron escalated under the rule of Shocker Act, Scorpius eagerly immersed himself in turmoil, adopting an intricately woven cover identity that even his fellow Covenant members struggle to recognize. Parallel to Shockerak's rise to power, Scorpius, operating under the guise of Sandstorm, gradually climbed the ranks to become the leader of the Predacons, whose numbers had significantly diminished in size. Underneath the depths of Iacon, Sandstorm rallied the rebels opposing Shockerak's tyrannical reign. Shadow Panther Shadow Panther is an enigmatic operative within the ranks of a secretive organization, adept at assuming various roles to deceive his unsuspecting targets. His dedication to his undercover missions is unwavering, pushing him to undergo modifications that allow him to seamlessly blend into the shadows and ensnare his maximal adversaries with deadly precision. Unlike his fellow members who dwell on past failures, Shadow Panther envisions a glorious era inspired by the ancient records of his predecessors, the Decepticons. He reveres the inner circle of Megatron's loyalists, admiring their exceptional qualities. With his mastery of illusion through holographic projections and his ability to manipulate darkness, he executes his assignments with a combination of elegance and accuracy. In confrontations, he resorts to a potent neuro weapon capable of immobilizing his opponents in an instant. However, Shadow Panther has a vulnerability to bright light, hindering his optic sensor's adaptability. Complementing his espionage prowess is his remarkable speed in the form of a sleek Black Panther, earning him the moniker Black Bullet. This agility seamlessly transitions into his robot mode, allowing him to swiftly assume advantageous firing positions. While some may perceive his methods as cowardly, there's no denying the sheer terror invoked by Shadow Panther's forbidden attributes. His insatiable craving for the hunt compels him to relentlessly seek out multiple Maximals at a time. They must stay vigilant in the darkness at all times, for it's there that Shadow Panther thrives. Scold Scold, a devoted and youthful warrior, firmly believes in the rise of their leader Megatron envisioning a glorious future for the Predacons. Derived from the Swedish word for turtle, her name symbolizes resilience and strength. Skull's original vehicular form draws inspiration from the toy representation of Beast Machine's Tankor, displaying a robust and imposing presence. For her Earth body, the design was adapted to resemble an alligator snapping turtle, incorporating elements from Snapper's physique. Renowned for her unmatched physical prowess among her fellow henchmen, Skull grapples with deep-rooted insecurities that have subjected her to dismissive attitudes from her teammates. Emerging in an era following the conclusion of the Great War, Skold initially harbored aspirations of becoming an artist, only to face harsh rejection due to prevailing maximal biases. An unfortunate encounter with a group of bullies in Iacon's sculpture garden led to her recruitment by Galavar, a determined Predacon agent. After learning of Galavar's ambitious plot to seize a coveted golden disc held within the Maximal Science Ministry, Skold enthusiastically joined the mission. Her unwavering loyalty to the Predacon cause fueled her determination to play a crucial role in the dangerous heist. We've dived into the different and compelling individuals that make up the Predacons as a whole, the legendary enemies in the diverse world of Transformers Beast Wars. Each Predacon, from the clever and merciless Megatron to the intriguing Tarantulas, contributes a distinct dimension to the epic war for Earth's dominance. We've seen their transformations, their setbacks and victories, delighting in their stunning designs. The Predacons have undoubtedly left a lasting effect on the Transformers universe as we've learned more about their personalities and ambitions. Thank you, thank you for joining us on an enthralling trip into the untold 
untamed land of the Predacons in Transformers Beast Wars. And if you liked our content, don't forget to leave a like and subscribe to us if you haven't already. Have a good one and be safe. Thanks everyone.